welcome to the Magnet for Love podcast. Does the idea of meeting the man of your dreams seem impossible to you? We are here to help you. This is your host, Lorna Poole, sharing the secrets of men, love and relationships so you too can succeed in love. Haven't found the one yet? Looking for some answers? Head on over to www.lornapool.com to find out more. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Magnet for Love podcast, dating mindset to track the right guy. With me today is Lisa Copeland. Think about it. Have you ever had a hard time attracting and keeping the right man? Maybe what you think about dating a man is keeping you from finding true love. Lisa Copeland is our dating coach and dating mindset expert, and she shares with you how your mindset can make or break your ability to find true love. She will share with you easy, actionable steps for shifting your mindset you can immediately start using to attract the right man for you. Lisa is a leading international recognized love coach and dating expert. She works with women over 50 who are struggling with dating and helping them find true love with a quality man at this time in their life. She is the author of the book, The Winning Dating Formula for Women Over 50, as well as a regular contributor to Huffington Post and Huffington Post Women. This is to name just a few of Lisa's amazing credentials. Lisa, great to have you here. Oh, thank you, Lorna, for having me. I so appreciate it. Personally, I think this is probably the most important thing we talk about, mindset. I I agree. I agree. It it will make or break you. Mindset um, dictates so much of your life. Mm -hmm. And definitely in attracting the right guy. So let's chat about... um, why it doesn't work for people and what you need to do to work. So not to make, um, so tell me um, a little bit about why mindset is so important. Well, I have this belief and actually it's not just my belief. It's, it's a proven law of attraction belief that what we focus on is what comes to us. So when women are saying to me, there's no good men out there, I can't, Uh, I can't find anyone. Online dating doesn't work. I don't feel good about myself. That is what they're putting out there into the universe. And what happens is the results they get are not good. And what they end up doing is quitting and they give up on their dreams. That is how detrimental a negative mindset can be and how positive it can be if you use it to stay moving forward in your dreams. Mm, I love that you share that. I remember when I was single. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I dated every idiot you can think of. <laughs> Everybody does. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I remember having an affirmation saying, I attract only healthy relationships. And um, my mindset had to change. So I love that you said today that when you go out there into the world and you're like, oh, there's no good men in my area. I, I can't meet them online and all men are cheaters or whatever your right. thing is, right? It just doesn't work, does it, Lisa? It doesn't because our mind needs to be right. So what we'll do is we will find proof. We can't see what is working, we, but what we do is we find proof to support what isn't working in our life. We totally take out the rest of it because we need, our mind needs to be right. Does that make Mm -hmm. sense, Lorna? Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes for some people, we can be so stuck in how we view the world and how we view ourselves, which you brought up there, Lisa, about a lot of it as well as how we see ourselves. And until that, until we make that shift in our minds, We can't see our other options. Right. I was working with a client and she moved to Idaho or South Dakota. I can't remember which one it was. And she did that to follow a boyfriend. They ended up breaking up. And here she was in this, what she termed a cowboy town. So she said, nobody's here. There's no good guys here at all. And of course, She was, her mind was making a right, supporting that belief. And we started working together. And one of the biggest things that women don't do is they really don't have a clear vision 
of who they want. They think mm. they know based on a couple qualities. But one of the best things that you can think about when you're looking for a man is how do I want to feel around him? That is so much more important than how much money he has, although you want someone financially stable or how he looks. It's how you each feel around each other and the values that you share. So we created what I call in my practice, a quality man template to help her get a clear vision of who would make her happy. And she found that some of these cowboys were actually really good men who are very financially stable. And she said to me, I never would have seen all these men because when she told me there were no good men there, I said, have you met every single one of them? And she started laughing because (laughs) of course not. I mean, that is how significant our mindset is. And one of the greatest things about working with a coach, because I work with coaches too, being a coach, I believe coaches are the best thing because we get in our own way and we emotionally are so attached to our beliefs and the way we think about things. We need a second set of eyes sometimes to say to us, oh my God, this isn't working. And this is how you can see that it will work. Mm, I love that. That is so so clear. And about, you know, you said two really valuable things there. First of all, you said about how is he making you feel? Because most women are thinking, oh, I want him to be tall and I want to be attracted to him. And, you know, these, these, not these fundamentals that really create that long lasting love. And don't get me wrong. You can get all that, but it's not the core um, way. It's not the core value to, to start with. Right. And you talked a lot about values, the values you share and having that quality man template. And I want to ask you this, Lisa, and about having a coach because um, we don't always see what's going on in our head. But don't you think as well, Lisa, that it is about you becoming what you want to attract? Yes, you do have to be what you want to attract. So when we're filling out the qualities and the values, I always go back to my clients and I say, let's go through your list. And they'll say, I want someone who is handsome. And I'll say, do you feel beautiful about yourself? You have to have what you want. I had a client say to me, well, I don't have this. So I want a man to compensate this piece for me. And I said to her, you, that will not happen because you can't attract someone that doesn't, when you don't have what it is you want, you must have it first. And that's really eye opening for people because many women make the men their cake instead of the icing on their cake. Mm, and, that's and so mean, good. <laughs> it doesn't mean you have to be as proficient. Like when I remember, I remember doing a qualities list and I went through it like this going, do I have this? Do I have this? And I saw some areas that I needed some work on. So I set out, it was a great thing to do because I set out to make some shifts. Could I still attract someone with that quality? Yes, because I had some part of it, but I didn't have all of it. And I, in myself, wanted more of it. Mm, um, you really hit the nail on the head with the, the, I always say the guy is the bonus to your already amazing life. And as you say, you want too many people are looking for the man to be the cake, the answer Mm -hmm. to their happiness. But, you know, as you say, when you were looking through your own list and, you know, getting your people to look at the list, if you want a handsome man, you have to see yourself as beautiful first because a guy, a quality guy is not going to spend his time reassuring you that you're lovely and you're gorgeous. If you can't um, accept it, and receive it. So um, I love that you shared that. I think that is huge. Thank you. (laughs) It was my pleasure too. (laughs) So, okay. So when we focus on, um, you know, our mind needs to be in the right place and, you know, doing the template of what that quality guy is, this is all setting us up to attract that great guy. 
Um, what else uh, can you share with us? Well, I work with a lot of professional women. I also work with some in their 40s as well as women over 50. And I think one of their biggest mindset issues is they are looking for someone just like them. Mm. And usually what's happened in the professional world is they've taken on extreme masculine qualities. And then when they get into the dating world, you mentioned receiving before, they don't know how to receive and they don't know how to come back into that feminine side. And men don't want to date men. Men are looking for the connection to our heart. Whereas women have the mindset of, I want someone just like me Mm -hmm. because they like who they are. Mm -hmm. is, is we gave up a lot of power. We gained jobs, but gave up power, giving up so many of our ma- our feminine side. And our so this is a very hard mindset for women to switch into who are in professional jobs. Yet when you come into, um, I've seen it happen again again, where my clients have come into work and used the feminine side that I've taught them for uh, their personal lives, and suddenly they're getting the cooperation of men that they could not have had before. So this is just a mindset about men, and a mindset about men in general for many women is men are not women, and we have to learn to accept them for who they are and not change them because we have the mindset women walk into a room and they can see the potential of people, the potential of the room and how to make it better because our mindset is one of community. But we so we fall in love with a man's potential versus his reality feeling like we'll make him into who we want him to be. And the problem is is women Uh, do this and men don't like it. They really don't. So the mindset to have when you're choosing a really good man is look at who he is, not who his potential is, because he may never come into that potential, even though you can see it. You either got to like him as he is, or you want to move on to find someone else. Wow. I think you've brought up such a golden nugget in that um in the a man's potential and the actual reality because mm-hmm. you and I I, I I presume you're going to agree with me Lisa that we see a lot of women that um hang on to men that are not suitable on the hope that things will change right that happens a lot because people don't like to be alone because they feel that being alone is not okay. Since our society points to so much coupleness, but the time you're alone can be very powerful. The key is to create an amazing life for yourself. Mm. And when you create this amazing life for yourself, you glow. And that is what attracts men to you is that inner glow. It's not because you're single. It's what you're bringing to the table that really Mm. creates that. I love that. Bring to the table because a lot of, um, a lot of things that people don't realize, and you said it earlier, is that the reason why anybody does anything in in life is how you make them feel about themselves. Right. Okay. And you've just said that there, but what are you bringing to the table? Are you glowing about your life? Are you glowing about yourself? Are you bringing that feminine energy that men are so attracted to? Are you bringing that mindset where you are just a breath of fresh air for him? And he's thinking in the back of his head, I need to not mess it up with her. This is a really golden girl, right? Right, right. But it starts within you first and how you feel about yourself. And that's what you bring out. Because if you don't feel good about yourself, again, it's that law of attraction you're going to attract someone into your life that doesn't feel good about himself. And then you end up each putting the other down because you're actually looking for the other to support you, but you can't do that support unless you have it within you. 
Mm, and I always say a player is just a, a guy that's hurting, you know? Yes. Um, and when you're attracting a player, you got to look at inside of you. Again, it's back to mindset, Lisa. What's the fear? What's the pain? What are you um, avoiding? Is it commitment? Is it I'll be trapped in a relationship? And a lot of, um, Lisa, you'll probably agree with this. A lot of changing your mindset is a balance between letting go and inviting in the new, right? Right. That's exactly it. And not holding on to having to be right. It's learning to see that there are other possibilities. We get very narrow focused. I always like to use the visual of imagine a horse who's racing and they put the blinders on him so he can only stay focused straight ahead. But many times when we're focused straight ahead, the horse has someone guiding him. Mm. But when we don't have someone guiding us and we're just looking straight ahead, and we can't see the changes we need to make, we're setting ourselves up for failure. Mm, I love that. Uh, this is amazing, Lisa. So Lisa, just to wrap it up today, what is that one aha from our conversation today? Because you've said so many amazing things. I think the biggest aha would be to really love yourself and feel your own passions When I came out of my second marriage, I was, um, and I was by myself and I said to my friend, oh my God, I have to rebuild a single life. And she gave me the wisest words of wisdom. This was before I was a coach. And she said, enjoy this time getting to know you again and really find your passions in life again, because I guarantee you've forgotten what they are. And it was the best advice. So I will pass that along as the biggest aha. If you want to find true love, you want to truly love yourself first. Flaws and all, we're all flawed. So sometimes our flaws are some of the most endearing things that men will love about you. And learn to love it. Learn to love every part of yourself and get back in touch with what makes you happy. Because that'll be a big part of what you're going to attract. Love it. Love it, Lisa. So Lisa, how do I find out more about you? Well, uh, you can come to findequalityman.com. And if you would like to get my best 35 first date questions, I had so many women say to me, I don't know what to say to a man on a date. So I created this 35 for 35 best first date questions cheat sheet. And if you'd like to get a copy of that, it's got great questions. It'll connect you with your heart to a man. You can get that at findequalityman.com forward slash Lorna, L-O-R-N-A. And we'll send you that cheat sheet right away. Thank you. And thank you for being here. I just want to say very quickly, if you enjoyed our conversation today, do remember to go over to um, our Magnet for Love Facebook group where our conversation continues. And Lisa, thanks for an amazing interview. Thank you, Lorna. It was so much fun. Thank you for joining me on the Magnet for Love podcast. Excited and feeling ready to meet the man of your dreams, but don't know where to start? Feel like you've no idea what you're doing to get it right this time. Ready to get some answers? Then head on over to www.lornapool.com And let's get you living the life and love you've always dreamt of.